um, graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can load PNG files or JPEGs or whatever into Fudge Shop and use them as brushes. Now, I've actually got a brush set that I've created myself. It's part of on the Graphic Extras website, so Snowflakes Designs. And the particular reason I'm showing this one is that uh, someone's actually contacted me and asked me about loading the PNG files. So, just basically, here's the PNG files. And to open them, obviously, you just can double click it. But I personally, I prefer because, of course, you might actually have it set up to be opened by some other application. So PNG was obviously you can select from that list when you right click, open such as my Photoshop or Illustrator. Right, just use the file open command and you'll see the PNG files there and just click open. Right, once you've actually opened this file, you can now go to edit define brush preset. Define brush preset. Click OK, and now the brush is saved as a brush. Right. Of course, you could also, before you do that, you could apply effects to this brush. You could actually add, say, layer effects, or maybe turn it into a metallic design. So you can just quickly go over to Window and Styles, and just apply a style, and then you can define that as a brush preset as well. So it's literally the one thing about the PNG files. It virtually gives you infinite number of possibilities in terms of types of uh, files you can actually save there you've got, actually got that click OK now if you don't actually want to obviously go through all 64 as well as maybe apply metallic effects to all 64 you can actually do via window actions just quickly create an action and the basic action is obviously just click there which is create a new action and record an action of make brush which is the edit define brush command and close the file Obviously, if you've done no changes, of course, if you've done some changes to it, you may not want to close it, but uh, maybe put that, those files into a subfolder and maybe create a duplicate of the, all the files. And then you can obviously modify them without modifying the original files. OK, so you can actually do that. To go through all, the, once you've actually created the action, just go to File, Automate and Batch, and then you can just process it. They say you can set up a whole range of different actions that, uh, so just select set one which is the one that I've actually created so I've got selection brush brush patterns flip so you can actually use them as patterns as well the PNG files are not just stuck as brushes you can use them also of course convert to PSD files and use them as displacement maps distortions etc and the set actually comes I'm just gonna cancel that with a set of actions basically which you can load very quickly into the actions palette and define the brushes that way if you don't want to create your own action but it's up to you right so that's a quick and easy way of loading a vast number of brushes into Photoshop I'm using CC but the same basic approach for CS6 CS5 CS4 etc as well as Photoshop elements hope you found this of interest